Today folks I'm going to show you how to put a second hard drive into your standard desktop. This is a tower case. As you can see it's quite big, makes it easy to work on. This is the uh, hard drive I'm going to put in. It's a standard IDE drive and this is a uh, computer takes IDE drives as such. As you can see this is where the ribbon cable will go. It's uh, 40 pins Here's the jumpers and here's your power supply. Rule of thumb, pin 1 marked on the ID cable as the red is usually normally against the power side, nearest to the power. To con uh, okay. First thing to remember is read the instructions here where the jumpers are. On here it says jumper 50, if it's on it's a master, if it's off it's slave. If you have a look at this you can see 50 against there okay and also just underneath that you can see the letter 2 meaning this side is pin 1 to get the jumper out get a pair of tweezers or ideally long fingernails and there you go one jumper out and that's converted to a slave remember don't touch the circuit board otherwise you'll have a semi working hard drive which will give up when you need it most. Then all you do is just put it into position like so. You'll need to use both hands if you got the room. And just slide it in like so. Okay. You need to get yourself a magnetic screwdriver. Uh, if you can't uh, just move it back and forth until you one of the holes lines up. Put the screw in like so, and just gently tighten it up. Okay. Don't forget to do the same on the other side. Just turn it gently, don't force it, otherwise you cross thread it and make sure the screws are the same one they take out in earlier. They've got to be short, if it's too long they'll uh, go through the bo circuit board and uh, wreck it. Turn it back. Okay. Cables you moved out earlier. This is red marks pin one. Start off at the lowest one so it gives you room to work on. Just mark up the first, match up with the first, and then rotate it in. Just press it gently and it's in. Please note the notch here that matches up with the uh, notch on the hard drive. Again, pin one is here. Quite of these cables have this connector so you can pull them out easily. Again, just match up with the first one and just gently push it in. There you go. Hard drive done. Last thing to do is to put the power connector in. Put in any order you like, just remember to make it easy for yourself. There you go. 
it's all done and it's ready to use okay no no great feet no microsurgery no PhD no Einstein intelligence required just plain common sense there you go it's ready all you need to do now is put the covers back on and then power it up thanks for watching folks bye